In front of you are eight different Bob pancakes. Each of these Bobs is slightly different than the other. In this social experiment, you are going to try and find out which Bob pancakes is the real Bob pancakes. Over the course of this challenge, you are not allowed to look anything up. You're not allowed to open your game or anything. Oh wait, there's one more. All of these Bobs are numbered one to eight. Oh, okay, that one is slightly freaking out. Interesting. Appearance-wise, they all pretty much look the same, but each of their behaviors is going to be slightly different. And you have the entire video to find out which one is which. We'll start introducing the Bobs, and here we have Bob number one. Take a good look and make sure to memorize all of his details and features. Beside him is Bob number two. Again, there could be slight differences about each of these Bobs that could be a dead giveaway, or maybe they could not. Bob number three, looking real good and very similar to, um, the rest of the Bobs. Bob number four, yep. That, that's that one. Take a, don't forget this one. We have Bob number five. Bob number five is my personal favorite. I don't, I don't want to give anything away because he could be the real Bob. Maybe that's why he's my favorite or he could not be. Bob number six is probably the most attractive out of all the Bobs. And I know they all pretty much look the same, but I don't know. There's something about this. The number six. I don't know why. Number 60. Get it? Sexy. Bob number seven. Um... That, that's him. That's him, all right. And then finally, Bob number eight. Take a good look and make sure that you remember all of them. So if you ignore the army of Bobs over there, I've downloaded this lovely house from this random person that I found on the gallery. And there are basically going to be two stages to this trial. I'm going to allow the Bobs to roam free in this house and enjoy day-to-day -day life. Here, we'll be able to keep an eye on their behaviors and see if we can figure out anything very telling about each one. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to take them to the backyard to do something a little bit special. And by special, I mean do these specific trials that I have laid out for them and hopefully by the end of this video You'd be able to tell which Bob is the real Bob or not autonomy is on full I'm not gonna control any of them go immediately Bob number seven likes fitness fitness Dick. Immediately, the Bobs are making their way inside the house. Bob number two is immediately going to the fridge. That is actually a very good sign, and he's getting a glass of water or milk. It's very cloudy, regardless of what it is. We all know Bob really loves food. That could be a good sign. This Bob over here, Bob number five, is immediately changed into his athletic wear. I think I don't really know what that outfit is. I mean, he looks great in it, but still. That one just showed off his ass for two seconds. Which one was that one? That's Bob number one. Okay, we have this Bob over here, Bob number Number four, I don't know where he's going. Usually I find something like this relatively boring, but I'm actually very fascinated to see like the intricacies of all of their like behaviors. Okay, so we're definitely going to the fridge. That Bob just decided to put his dirty glass into the dishwasher. Which Bob is this one going for the actual food? Bob number six. Okay, this is very fascinating. They're all just kind of wandering around doing their own little thing. This Bob, Bob number four is reading. Oh, he is chowing down. He is not even taking a second to eat that in a clean manner. Bob number six. I feel like because they all look the same, it's very difficult to tell which one is doing what without hovering over them. That one just disappeared for a second. Bob number eight. Bob number eight's an alien. I'm calling him right now. Where are the other Bobs? I feel like we're missing a few. That one's doing the dishes. Bob number eight. A little bit suspicious. Are there any Bobs upstairs? Oh, this one's using the computer. Bob number three is trying to use the computer, but I think he feels a little bit lost. Don't give up. You just had to press the on button. Bob number one is playing games all by himself, and he seems really Relatively depressed about it. Imagine wanting to play a game and even clones of yourself don't want to do it with you. These two bobs are crowded around it. Okay, this bob is talking to a toilet and bob number seven is just kind of watching him do it. This is so weird. Like they're actually enjoying each other's company. This is what happens if he was to divorce Eliza Pancakes. Like I don't know if it's a tell sign or anything, but I have never seen these bobs be so happy. Okay, so bob number five is completely just enthralled with talking to this toilet. Toilet. Bob's number two, six, and seven are forever locked into this conversation, except for that Bob. Bob number seven definitely has a phone addiction. We have another Bob coming in with a book. That's Bob number four. He wants a little bit of alone time. I think all of these Bobs are getting a little bit on his nerves. That is floating. Honestly, if I was in a room with clones of myself, I would absolutely feel this way. Bob number five has decided to just come into this room and watch some cooking shows. You know what? That is pretty on par with Bob lore. Now it's Bob number seven that's playing games by himself. And Bob number one has decided to go into this... Uh, uh, I assume it's a children's room all by himself to just uh, look up some stuff on the internet. You know, some good alone time. So far, we've not seen any necessarily defining traits. I'd like to think, okay, Bob number three is just kind of like on his own time. I'd like to think that Bob number five 
he's definitely the craziest one. He's also the easiest one to identify because he's the only one that changed his clothes. Bob number eight is apparently very funny and acquired the comedy skill. I mean, to be fair, aside from the one levitating Bob, I thought we would see something a little bit more telling about these Bobs. One of them did use the dishwasher. Two of them are floating now. Oh my. I bet half of you are taking extensive fucking notes about this and the other half of you are just fucking waiting for me to reveal it. Honestly, at this point, this is just a fucking vibe. Okay, I'm getting impatient. I want to do the challenges now. In this first little challenge circle, I put all of the Bobs in a kitchen and then they have to cook food and by determining what type of food they cook and how well they cook it, we could probably figure out which Bob is the real Bob, right? My bet's on Bob number five. Immediately, they have decided they, they are not cooking and instead they're just going to gather around and have more chats except for Bob number one who is just happily on his phone ignoring all the other Bobs and Bob number two is looking longingly at the conversation. He seems a little bit too nervous to join it but you can tell that he definitely has a fear of missing out. Oh no. All the Bobs have work in an hour. Shit. I mean, they can't physically get out of this square so it'll be fine. Bob number five is cleaning and now he is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> oh, we have Bob number six who is just pulling out some fucking popcorn he doesn't even want to cook. Oh, we have Bob number one going for something as well. Oh, that looks promising. That looks like he's about to cook something. Oh, and we have another Bob over there. Which one's that one? Bob number three. Okay, so this one pulled out some vegetables. Uh, the, uh, the Bob that pulled out the food isn't even bothering to eat it. He just kind of left it out. So some definite food wastage. What are we making here, Bob number one? Is that like a grilled cheese or something? You know, I'm just saying all you other Bobs should probably aspire to be more like Bob number three and Bob number one. Bob number three is kind of like panicking a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Was this Bob number eight's moving to do something as well? Oh, we're grabbing some more veggies. Okay, I feel like they're getting slightly inspired by one another and I think that is so charming. Okay, so Bob number three is definitely making a salad. I can't think of what other sim food were. Uh, Bob five is skipping work. Yeah, he should. Yep, they're all skipping work now. And Bob, okay, you're all skipping work. We get it. Here we go. A lovely grilled cheese and uh, you're complaining about it? Okay, we're not eating the food we're making today. I guess that's just in typical chef fashion. Like, Bob is a chef canonically. So, um, you know, he just makes food for other people and you know what? I think that's very sweet. The rest of these Bobs are not too bothered about cooking. They'd rather just sit and fucking talk to each other. What do you even have to talk about? Are you all just talking about how awful your fucking marriage is? That that looks like tofu? I literally have no idea what Bob number eight's cooking. I don't think we'll ever fucking know because that Bob's taking forever to make a fucking salad. Oh god, they're both making fucking salads. Stop talking and just finish your food. Yep, that one was definitely making a salad and again, he doesn't want to eat it. Bob number two really is just too shy to join the conversation. Like, bro, it's okay. Wh which one of you farted? Bob number one. It's also very hot, so I hope none of them like fucking die. All right, Bob number eight's made an onigiri. All of their phones are ringing. Fuck. Bob number four has had enough. Time for the next Bob challenge. Bob is canonically very lazy. So here we have several loungers and one chair that doesn't look as comfy and immediately Bob number six took it without anybody saying anything. Oh my God. This just is more of a challenge to see which one is more inclined to be comfortable and which ones are more inclined to just stand up because we know that Bob has the lazy trait or at least I did. I kind of spoiled it. Bob number six was the first to sit down but he did pick the most uncomfy chair. Bob number eight and Bob number seven immediately went for the loungers. The rest of them are just standing up. We have Bob number one just using his phone again. I mean, I'm on three times speed and none of them seem inclined to like move or do anything else at all. So I guess I guess we have our answer. Bob number seven is an active sim. Aside for Bob number two really needing to take a piss, this is the third challenge and I feel like this one should be the most self-explanatory. We know that Bob Pancakes really fucking hates working out or doing anything. Here we have three athletic machines. Well, immediately Bob number seven is just raring to go on the treadmill. This is essentially like an elimination round. I feel like we should be suspicious of every single Bob that decides to use one of the workout machines. Like you couldn't even wait for me to finish explaining the challenge. Like you don't even care about fooling anybody else. You were just like, I need to run now. Bob number eight, just staring longingly into the distance. Never mind. I mean, if none of you guys are gonna try and like eliminate yourselves, I guess we can move on to the next thing. This worked out a lot faster than I anticipated. This next challenge is definitely more of a convoluted one and Bob three is very happy about it. Here we have a whiteboard and a bunch of seats. In my head, I've always seen Bob as less of a leader and more of a follower. So here I'm kind of waiting for one of the Bobs to take the bait and try to be in more of a leadership position and start teaching the other Bobs how to be like Bob. Bob number one showing off his fucking phone addiction. Put that shit away. We have Bob number eight, Bob number three, and Bob number six sat down and ready for class. And the fucking rest of them don't even fucking care. I don't know, Bob number one sat down. And so has Bob number four right up here. These three I'm very suspicious about. I mean, these two specifically I'm very suspicious about. Oh, but they're sitting down. Oh, are they all sitting down? Okay, so none of the Bobs even want to bother 
bother trying to teach any of the other bobs anything. <laughs> like, I feel like this is the most bob-like behavior we've seen from all of them unanimously. We're down to the second to last challenge. Bob loves food and right in front of us is a giant buffet table. And Bob number one immediately pulled out his fucking phone. I don't think Sims are able to autonomously, like, fill the buffet table. So I'll just have to make one of the bobs do it. Okay, so now the buffet table is full of food. We've got some turkey. We've got some sausages. We've got some what I believe are fried bananas or something. We've got some macaroons. We have ceviche. And I think I already mentioned the turkey. Or is that a chicken? Uh, Bob number five is spraying all of the food with toxic chemicals. Bob number five is like, I want to be the only Bob left after this. Oh, Bob number six already had some food. I think that's good though that he had it before fucking Bob number five sprayed everything and made it toxic. I mean, hey, that means Bob number six loves food. No one is eating. Bob number seven looks fucking depressed and Bob number one's still on his fucking phone. Bob number eight is eating some food. I hope he doesn't die after this. Never mind. Bob number five decided he's gonna eat food after what he did. Okay, so Bob number one's eating as well. Okay, so pretty much these Bobs are all eating. That one's about to fucking piss himself. The only two Bobs who haven't eaten are Bob number three and Bob number four. Very suspicious. Never mind. Just Bob number three. Here we have the last testing chamber that sounded like I'm talking about fucking portal. Um, I don't remember why I made this. I don't remember what the actual challenge was. I made this entire thing like yesterday. Uh, okay, so we already have three Bobs jumping. Are you both allowed to fit in this? Aside from Bob number seven suddenly picking up Bob number one's fucking phone addiction. Everybody's in the water. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't really know what this behavior is. It's just, I, honestly, that would, please do not pee. Please do not pee. Okay, so all of the Bobs have collectively decided to murder and drown Bob number four. I mean, Bob number seven is just chilling on his lonesome. Uh, Bob number one isn't even in the water anymore. He's actually the only Sim that's not in the water. And Bob number six has taken the long pool all to himself. I hope these series of challenges and behaviors were able to help you determine which Bob is the real Bob. So you might be wondering which Bob was actually the real Bob. But maybe the answer isn't which Bob is the real Bob. Maybe the true answer was it was all the Bobs that we met along the way. But it was actually Bob number one. Let me know in the comments if you were right. Okay, goodbye. Uh, uh.